Are you worried about gaining weight over the holidays? I think all of us have a little bit of anxiety when we think about all of the holiday get-togethers. Even if you aren't going to parties, you are probably going to have a meal with other people. You might be having, like me, having people over to your home. And this video is not just for carnivore. I am on the carnivore diet. I have been for over two and a half years. So all of these principles that I tell you are the same principles that I use, but they are the same principles I would use for any diet. Before we get started, I want to tell you about the City Beauty Sale. If you have been here on my channel, you know how much I love City Beauty, and they are having a 40% off Black Friday sale starting today. So I will put the dates and the codes down below. And let me tell you about my favorite products. These are the ones that I have used over and over again, and that is the Multi-Action Sculpting Cream. I have it on today under my Estee Lauder Double Wear. It provides the best base for your makeup. It's not that it's really tacky, it's more like a velvety, moisturized feeling, and I swear when I put it on, I feel like I can feel it firming up my skin. Every night, every morning, without a doubt, I use the City Beauty Plumping Gloss. This is the Clear Plumping Lip Gloss. I don't even really use it for the plumping, though I do think it does plump. And when you wake up in the morning, your lips will be bouncy, moisturized, and full. And then my favorite gloss right up there ever in the top two or three is the City Beauty San Diego. I have it on today with a cinnamon type lip liner that I will list down below. This is my favorite. They have some good like creamy nudes, beautiful colors. So 40% off, I will put everything down below. But these principles are for anyone on any type of diet or just someone who doesn't want to overindulge during the holidays. Eat before you go. And I don't mean just a snack. Eat until you are full until you can't even think about eating anything else before you go to any family get-togethers, to any dinners out with friends, going over to a party. Even if you think that there are gonna be things there that you are gonna be able to eat, say in my case, I might think, oh, well, there will be meatballs or something like that that I could eat. Don't depend on that. Because nine times out of 10, I probably shouldn't be eating those meatballs because they might be in a sauce with grape jelly or something like that in there. But you don't wanna depend on that because if you get there and you're hungry, you will make bad decisions. You will just, it's just something about it. You will look at everything and you will justify it. Someone will say, go ahead, it's Christmas, live a little, you don't need to lose weight, all of those things. So make sure that you are full before you go and then you are less likely to make bad decisions and don't depend on there to be, even if you go to a restaurant, a lot of times I'll think, well, I'll just get a steak when I'm there. Don't depend on that. Unless you have looked at the menu and you know for a fact, and then I still do not go to a restaurant hungry because it's going to be a few minutes where I'm going to be sitting there with nothing to eat because I'm not eating appetizers, I'm not eating a salad. So I don't want to sit there hungry and I don't want to make any bad decisions. So eat before you go until you are full, satiated, and cannot even think about any more food. Tip two is don't hang around the food. Don't hang around the kitchen. I know that is so hard to do because that is where people gather. They gather around the cook in the kitchen and you know how it is, everything's sitting out or they're cooking it or they might have hors d'oeuvres or whatever. They might have some cookies that they've done for dessert. I'm thinking about my family. We always have just food everywhere, everywhere. The person who is hosting usually has things and then people are bringing things and you know just little appetizers and stuff out so step away from the food because the more you sit there and look at it the more your mind is going to play tricks with you and it will tell you 
oh, you can eat the pigs in the blanket. Just that little bit of biscuit or croissant won't hurt you. Or you might just eat more, like even if you're not on a diet, you will eat more than you think you are. And if you eat those few things in the kitchen and then you sit down for your meal, you're gonna be double, double eating bad. So stay away from the kitchen. This is what I've done the past two years is instead of staying in the kitchen, even where the women are, where I'm more likely to want to be and talk, I will make myself go out, uh, go outside maybe, go spend some time with the children, go talk to people and just get my mind off of it and you know just not worry about it. As soon as you start talking with someone else or start doing something else, watching TV or whatever, then you will not think about it. You won't realize that you're not in there eating everything that everyone else is. If you are hosting a get together or a dinner, eat before you even start cooking. Before you start cooking like the corn souffle and the macaroni and cheese and even more things like pigs in the blanket or meatballs or crab dip, any of those things that you can be picking off of the whole time. If you will go ahead and eat complete meal until you are full and you do not even think about wanting anything else. And when you eat these meals before you go and before you do this, they need to be the ones healthy meals things that you are supposed to be eating, get to the point where you are not even thinking about food and then start your cooking. That way you will not be tempted to pick off of everything and you will be less tempted to eat it after you're done because you will have been full. You will, you know how it is. You will have smelled it that whole time and you'll just kind of be over it. That is a really good tip for me. I know during the holidays, these past couple years, when I'm just not eating any carbs or sugar at all, what I'll do is get up and eat a full breakfast before I even start cooking. That way, nothing really appeals to me. I'm so satisfied. I'm just doing this for the people I love and I'm not craving it. And then I make sure that I have something that I can eat with everyone else. Cause you don't want to be that person that doesn't eat with everyone else. So I like last year, I just made sure I had turkey. I had, um, I think we did a pork roast and I can't remember what else I ate. I think I ate some shrimp. And then even when we did like an Italian night and we ordered like a bunch of things from this local Italian restaurant, I was able to eat the top off of pizza, but I ate before that ever happened. You always want to set yourself up for success. Always. Don't put yourself in the position where you could cave because the there's a lot of mental things that go with this. After you get through with a party or a meal out and you have the confidence that you did it, you know, the, the meal is over your home and you didn't cheat. You feel great. Your stomach doesn't hurt. You don't feel bloated. You're ready for the night. You feel good. You don't need a heating pad. You don't need Tom's Pepto-Bismol. That confidence will carry you a long way. Now, if you cheat, what are you going to think? You're going to be upset with yourself. You're going to think kind of like, you know, I don't want to cuss, but you know, you're going to think kind of like, screw it. I'm going to just go for it. That's, this is, I know because this is how I used to think. I would think, oh, well, I might as well finish out the night or, oh, well, I'm just going to finish out the whole Thanksgiving and I'll get back on the wagon on Monday. Of course, you can make up that time. It will set you back, but it hurts your psyche. It makes you feel like you can't keep promises to yourself and that is just not good. So eat before you cook. Send those leftovers home. Make sure that you have bought some to-go packages so that you can pack everything that you don't want to eat home with other people. They will love it. It will help you get your kitchen clean. It will keep your refrigerator from getting just crowded with a bunch of stuff you might not eat, and it will keep you from nibbling all night. Now, if your family wants the leftovers, I do understand that, but I would say nine times out of 10, most people are over it. I think children, like if there's something that your children might want, I would keep those, 
But what I do is like the corn souffle, all of those things that, you know, everybody has kind of pigged out on already. I send those home with my guests. I can always cook them again for my family, but I try to get everything out of the house. I think it's a nice thing to do for them and it keeps you from indulging on those things later that night. So send as many leftovers as you can home with your guests. Don't take home leftovers. Unless it's something that like turkey or steak, a lot of times my family would do a big prime rib. Unless it's something like that, or you know, if you're gluten-free or you're just trying to cut down and you're still keto, then you know, of course, take home those things that you are allowed to eat on your diet, but don't take home anything thinking, I won't eat this, I'll just save it for so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. If you can, try not to get out of your eating routine, even with your family, because that may tempt you. So don't take home leftovers just to make someone feel good. Just try to get away from the kitchen as fast as possible. My bonus tip, that is for you moms out there. I know when my children were young, there were just things that I would make around Christmas time. Buckeyes, the little peanut butter balls that you dip in chocolate, I always made those. I always made the white chocolate covered pretzels. That was like a thing that we made all the time. I used to make peanut butter cookies. We used to make sugar cookies. We would even make the sugar cookies. We would make the cheap ones and we would make the ones where we cut them out and put sprinkles and icing and all of that stuff. So I do understand that cooking these things and you know these experiences are part of the holidays and I would never want you to miss out on that. This would be my advice. Make sure you yourself are full before you start cooking those things for your children so that you're not nibbling off of their plate and make small batches so that they get the treat maybe one or two times and they're gone. They're not just sitting there. I know they look pretty, I know they do, but just make sure they're not sitting there looking at you the whole time because it's just really easy to justify it because you're thinking, oh, I want to have this experience with my children. I want to eat with them. I want, you know, all of these things. And then you'll say one won't hurt. And then when other people see you not eating it, they will be saying, oh, have some with us. They just don't understand. And a lot of people, you know, they just want you to eat with them. They just want you to celebrate with them. That's normal. But if you are like me, that's just something I can't have just a little bit. And at this point, I don't even want just a little bit. It will make me feel sick. So make small batches. And before you start with those, make sure that you are full. Like if you're carnivore like me, or if you're keto, fix yourself a big lunch, maybe bigger than usual so that you are extra stuffed and then do those things with your children, or then make that favorite dessert that your husband loves. And, you know, maybe serve it to him or that special person, whoever it is, until you think they're over it, and then send the, other, the rest of it to someone else, like if it's a pie or a cake or something like that. So I hope these tips will help you just a little during the holidays. I know that they have helped me. This is what I do for every party, every outing, every single thing I do, even when I go to um, like work conventions or anything like that, vacations, I always make sure that I know what I'm going to eat and I make sure that I get away from, I don't sit at the table while someone else, when they're eating other things, I just sit there for a few minutes, make sure I've, you know, talk to everyone a few minutes and then I excuse myself and I go eat the things that I want to eat. And then no one, no one misses me and I feel good the whole time. Thank you for watching. If you do like these carnivore-ish videos, then I will link one up here for you to watch. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.